Ed Pruitt, Custom Q. Just into the inventory here at Crossroad Qs. For those of you Q collectors out there, I'm sure you already know. These are about as hard to come by as Bigfoot. Test hits only. So this is a, you can say, like new Q. The shafts have been chalked. These tips, notably, are the original, also very, very, very hard to come by, moray tips. How Ed came into those is a mystery within itself. But that's why he is by far one of the most sought after cue makers in the world for many, many, many reasons. He does everything first class. This is a stained bird's eye burl. It's kind of a chocolate color. This is what you consider a five ringer. So if you don't know Ed Pruitt cues, uh, the rings on this one would be starting at the shaft. You've got one, two, three, four, and then five. His ring work is notably some of the just most incredible by far. So you've got the Pau Ferro or Abalone shell, however you want to call it, uh, individually inlaid in there. Those, those dots take a very long time, and Ed does it as good or better as anybody in the world. There are some other world-class cue makers that implement those rings in their designs, and they do a great job. Ed is in a league of his own. Look at how the abalone looks as I spin it under the lights. And then they are bordered in double silver on each side. So Ed Pruitt cues are obviously very distinctive based upon that ring work. He does have his EP logo at the bottom. You know, I like that. That's my initials as well. Chocolate colored uh, lizard wrap on this. Really nice quality. It's got a great texture to it. Perfect installation, of course. Ed Pruitt, uh, before he became a cue maker, was a master level machinist. Now you have some cue makers that started off as machinists. Some of them started off as artists, cabinet workers, and all different types of different backgrounds. Some of them just fell into it. Some of them evolved into it. Some of them were born into it. But Ed has some of the best machining ability of all the cue makers. And you could tell when you attach his shafts, the way that the pin and the shafts fit, it's just it's just as close to perfection as you're going to get. I can't speak enough about the quality of his cues. There's a good reason why it takes somewhere around eight or nine years to get an Ed Pruitt cue. That's his current wait time right now. A minimum of eight. I've heard as high as nine years, depending on what you're looking for. This one is available right now in our inventory at Crossroad Cues. We will be uploading it to the website pretty soon, crossroadqs.com. Each of these carbon fibers are included, of course. They are uh, 12.8, again, with the original Moray tips. Very hard to come by. One is a 4.0, and the other one is a 3.6 ounce, both 12.8. And then you have the custom Ed Pruitt joint cap and the joint protectors. His cues are 3 8 10 pin. The weight of the butt on this one is 15.3 ounces. So very, 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 very hard to come by. And people that get them just don't ever want to let go. Besides the master level craftsmanship and the top shelf materials that Ed uses, the playability is in a league of its own. Ed, Ed Pruitt makes a really good playing cue. Beautiful, beautiful ring work all the way through. Five ringer, Ed Pruitt, available at Crossroad Q's, 4550 plus shipping. Available right now without that long, 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 long wait. Thanks for taking a look. Crossroad Q's.